गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू आवर कंप्यूटर क्लास इन टू डेज क्लास वी विल स्टार्ट चैप्टर सिक्स दैट इज फॉर्मेटिंग अ प्रेजेंटेशन मीन्स पावर पॉइंट प्रेजेंटेशन एंड फॉर्मेटिंग मीन्स टू चेंज द लुक और अपियरेंस ऑफ अ प्रेजेंटेशन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट पावर पॉइंट प्रोवाइड्स अ नंबर ऑफ टूल्स टू फॉर्मेट अ प्रेजेंटेशन इट इंक्लूड्स टेक्सट फॉर्मेटिंग एंड इंसर्सन ऑफ इमेज वर्डर स्मार्ट आर्ट एंड मेनी अदर ऑब्जेक्ट्स ऑल्सो सो इन दिस सेशन वी विल लर्न हाउ टू फॉर्मेट टेक्सट and how to insert picture word art and smart art objects in presentation formatting text includes changing the font type font style font color font size etc so let's have a look now i will open microsoft powerpoint to make a presentation file for you so this is powerpoint let me make one blank presentation this is my presentation name of the presentation is presentation 1 this presentation is created with one blank slide the slide has two text boxes one to add a title another to add a subtitle so let me add one title first then it's powerpoint and for subtitle i will write something about microsoft powerpoint which already i have copied only i will paste here this is the text which is about microsoft powerpoint now in this slide i have two text boxes in one text box it is displaying the title ms powerpoint and the next text box is displaying the subtitle where i have written the definition about microsoft powerpoint now i will change the format of this text what is formatting in your book it has written formatting text means changing the look of text to change the look of text on a slide you first need to select it let me select this text first by dragging the mouse across the text after selecting the text choose any of the option in the font group of the home tab to format it so this is my font group under the home ribbon now in this font group many buttons or options are there so these buttons or options are used to format the text this is what bold this is to make the text italic and this is to give the underlines now let me click on this bold see the text appears in bold face now again to off this bold effect you click on the same button like that we can apply italic or we can remove italic we can apply underline we can remove underline so this bold italic and underline these three buttons are called toggle button because the same button is used to add one effect and to remove that effect now to change the font type you have to click on this font combo box beside this text you will find this down arrow click on this down arrow a list of font type will appear from where you can select one font type like i am selecting this one now if you find the text is too small you can change the size of this text just click on this font size combo box you will get a list of sizes from where we can select the required size like i will select 32 point click on that see now the text appeared in 32 point again we can decrease it now these two buttons are increase font size and decrease font size so increase font size to increase the font size and decrease font size to decrease the font size like i am decreasing the font size by clicking on this button see now this is what font color click on the down arrow just beside this a a color palette will appear from where we can select any color like i am selecting this blue color to apply the color on the selected text see text appear in blue color now we will learn this change case option using this change case button we can change the case of the text case means upper case and lower case upper case means capital letter and lower case means small letter click on this button five cases are there sentence case lower case upper case capitalize each word and toggle case sentence case means it will make the first letter of each sentence capital and other letters will be displayed in small lower case means it will convert all the letters to lower case upper case means to upper case capitalize each word as the name suggest it will capitalize the first letter of each word and toggle case means just opposite case capital letter will be converted to small and small will be converted to capital let's see capitalize each word oh sorry i forgot to select the text first you have to select the text let me select it first then you go to this button select capitalize each word now see the first letter of each word is capital and other characters are in small now to make the opposite case 
that means to convert the first letter to small and other letters to capital what we will do we will select double case so it is difficult to read for us so let me reverse my last few actions by clicking on this undo button now it is okay so this is text formatting over now we will learn alignment come to the next page in page number 84 here it is written the positioning of text in a placeholder is called alignment so what is placeholder this text box covers a space this is called placeholder when you will move your mouse pointer to the edge of this placeholder your mouse pointer shape will change to the four headed arrow using this you can drag and move your text box anywhere in the slide like i have selected now this text box let me move it okay so what is alignment the positioning of text in a placeholder of a text box is called alignment in microsoft powerpoint you can align text in a vertical and horizontal manner that means we have two type of alignment one is horizontal alignment another one is vertical alignment so vertical alignment means to align the text vertically inside this text box and horizontal alignment means aligning the text horizontally in the text box we have three options for vertical alignment top middle and bottom so first what to do we have to select the text let me increase the size of this text box so that you can understand here text is aligned with the top margin of the placeholder this is top alignment we can change this alignment to middle how select the text first go to this button align text button under the paragraph group click on this button we will get three vertical alignments top middle and bottom top is selected now i will select middle see now this option is used to align the text at the equal distance from both top and bottom margin of the placeholder see the text appeared at the middle of the text box now last is bottom alignment again you click on the same button align text click on this bottom alignment now see text is aligned at the bottom margin of the placeholder so this three are vertical alignment top middle and bottom now we will change horizontal alignment the horizontal text can be aligned in four different ways the options are align left center align right and justify now we will change horizontal alignment again here also we have to select the text then go to paragraph group here in paragraph group you will find four buttons this is what you just keep the mouse over any button as a tool tips you will get the name of that button with the shortcut key and little description about the button like this is align left and the shortcut key for align left is ctrl plus l and in description it has written align your contents to the left if you move your mouse over b button it is displaying the name of the button bold and the shortcut key for bold is ctrl plus b make your text bold so this way you can find out the name of any button with shortcut key and a short description now this is align left this is center this is align right and this one is justify so one by one we will do align left this one this alignment is used to align text to the left side of the placeholder click on that text is aligned to the left in the text box now center alignment click on that this alignment is used to align text at the center of the placeholder means at the center of the text box see at the center then align right align right means text will be aligned to the right side of the placeholder and last one is justify this alignment is used to align the text evenly between left and right margin of the placeholder click on that see in this alignment text covers the full space starting from the left edge till right edge in the text box now let me make it center looks good and vertically also i will make it middle that means text is now appeared exactly at the center in the text box you must remember the shortcut key of this alignment this is ctrl plus l for left align this is for center aligned ctrl plus e this is align right ctrl plus r and this is justify ctrl plus j now let me insert one more slide here in my presentation how to insert in home ribbon under this slide group you will get new slide button when you will click on this down arrow different types of slides appeared this is title slide this is title and content this is section header this is title only this is blank let me select blank slide so this is my new blank slide now we will insert a word art object here so before that we need to learn what is word art word art is a gallery of decorative text that you can add to a slide you can use the word art feature to make the text 
carb, wavy or shadow. To insert water, what to do? We have to go to this insert tab. Click on that. Insert ribbon has opened. Here in this insert ribbon, under this text group, you will find this button water. Click on that button. You will get a number of text styles. Select any one style from here. Like I am selecting this one. Now one text box appears. Here in this text box, it is asking your text here. So that means here we have to write my text. Let me write my text here. I am writing BSN. Now after that, click outside of the text. Text will remain in the slide. Now again to select the text, you just click on the text. Cursor is inside. Select the text or you just press escape to remove the cursor from inside this word art object. Now to increase the size of the text, from here we can increase the size. And to resize this placeholder, come to this resize handler and drag it vertically, diagonally or horizontally. Like this is vertically, diagonally also we can do. Understood? Now we will learn how to insert a picture in a slide. For that, again we have to go to this insert ribbon. Click on that insert tab. Here you will find one button called pictures under images group. Click on that picture button. This option will not match with your book because this is the advanced version of PowerPoint. That's why I am showing here. You can do in any version. So here you will find two options. This device, online pictures. So online pictures means to copy the picture from internet. That I will not show. Here I will show from my computer. Means this device. Click on this. So your insert picture dialog box has come. From here we have to find out picture to insert picture in our slide. So picture, one picture is this one. Select it and click on this insert button. See the picture has inserted here. Now this picture also you can resize by using this resize handler. This way. You can keep the picture anywhere on the slide by dragging the picture using mouse. Like I am keeping the picture here. Just have a BSN. Now we will learn how to insert different shapes in our slide. Let me make one new slide here. Home, new, blank slide. Now in this slide I will draw something or I will insert some shapes. Microsoft PowerPoint has different ready-made shapes such as rectangle, circle, lines, arrows and so on. To insert a shape, we have to follow certain steps. What are the steps? First you have to click on the insert tab. Here you will find the shapes option under illustration group. Click on the shapes button. A list of shapes will appear in different category. Recently used shapes, lines, rectangles, basic shapes, block arrows, equation shape, flowchart shapes, star banners, more are there, collets, action buttons. Now which shape you need to insert in your slide to select that shape. Let me select this rounded rectangle by clicking on it. Now your mouse pointer shape will change to a plus sign. Now using this plus sign, you just drag your mouse after pressing your left mouse button to draw a shape on your slide. Shape will be filled with the default color. Here it is blue. You can change this color also. How? Click on this button more. See, different colors are there. You can select any of this color to fill your shape with that color or you can make a blank shape also. Blank shape with black border, blank shape with blue border, this is with orange border, any one you can select. Even you can add text here. How? Right click on it, you will get one context menu. From here you select edit text. Cursor will appear at the center of the shape. Now you type. You can change the size of this text also or you can use this text as a object like this go to home increase the size clear like this we can insert other shapes also go to insert shapes from illustration group let me draw this smiley see Can increase or decrease vertically or horizontally even you can change little bit in your shape like this using this yellow button now this is sad face this is happy face this is normal face like that 
so in today's class we have learned formatting text and how to insert picture word art and smart art object in powerpoint presentation i hope you understood this class now this is your time to read the chapter thoroughly and you must do the exercise of the book in your copy in our next class i will give the study material for this chapter and we will discuss about the exercise of this chapter so till our next class bye have a nice day